A lot of physical therapists struggle with releasing the subscapularis. Why? Because you gotta do the release up here. That's how we all learn it. The problem is most of our painful shoulder patients can't get into this position. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to release the subscapularis in a painful shoulder in such a way that doesn't make you have to put that shoulder in a really bad position. So one of the big issues we face is treating the subscapularis. Now, why is this muscle so important to treat? Because it limits external rotation, it can be a source of pain, and particularly that pain is in the anterior shoulder. So let's say you get to the decision point where you're like, I wanna release the subscapularis, how do you do it? Well, typically we learn in school that the position to release the subscapularis is up here. Now the reason this position is chosen is because as you know, as you abduct the arm, right, the scapula starts to abduct as well, it moves out a little bit like this, and then you have access to it. But wait a minute, how the hell do we get to this position? The person can't get to this position, that's why you're doing the subscap release in the first place. So I'm gonna show you a better way to do this. So, Karen's gonna scoot towards me a little bit. I wanna drop my table height such that when my arm is extended down like this, essentially it's at the level of the treatment. Now if you don't have a high-low table, obviously adjust your body, but that's the general idea. Now if you take a look at my hand real quick, let me put your hand down for one second. If you take a look at my hand real quick, you'll notice if I hold my hand like this, my middle finger is longer than my index of my ring finger. So if you're actually digging into that subscapularis and you've got that middle finger extended, what'll happen is it'll hit first. Two things will happen. One, it kind of hurts your finger. And number two, you get this peak pressure point. So whenever you're gonna release the subscapularis, I'm showing you now, because you're not gonna see it when I do it, we're actually gonna take that middle finger and we're gonna fold it a little bit. We're gonna bend it like that. By doing that, my goal is to level these three fingers in the same plane so that as I approach the subscapularis in the front of the scapula, everything hits at the same time and the technique is way more comfortable. Okay, so let's take a look. What I'm gonna do is I am going to get the scapula out from behind her, not by abducting, but by protracting. And what that's gonna do is by protracting, I'm gonna pull the scapula up and around and give me access to it. I'm gonna take this arm right here, wrap it around this side of my patient. I'm gonna ask her to reach for the ceiling, go ahead and reach up for the ceiling a little bit, and then relax your, short, your body back down. When she reaches forward like that and then relaxes, the scapula stays abducted or protracted, but the rib cage drops back down. Now, that right there is the edge of her scapula. I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna fold it like this, and then I'm gonna to get to the edge of the scapula, and then just slowly work my way back until I drop down into the anterior aspect of the scapula. I, Karen hates this technique, <laughs> so she's sacrificing herself for you guys. So here we go. We're gonna just gonna slowly drop in, and then I'm gonna hit something hard right there, and that is the front of the scapula. Now, how do I get deeper in back there? I gotta take my hand, and I'm gonna angle it like this to slide it behind the rib cage to get deeper into that scapula to get the more medial side of it. Now, let's say I wanna increase pressure. Rather than pushing harder, I'm gonna ask her to reach. And as she actively reaches towards the sky, it'll actually increase the pressure under my hands. So, wrap her up like this. Go ahead and reach for the sky. Good, now relax back down. Now she's protracted. Apply my pressure here slowly, slowly, slowly till I get to the hard surface of the scapula. Now we're on the muscle here. I can look for tender spots. And then if I want more pressure, I'm gonna ask Karen, just slowly reach for the sky. And there we go, we get a little more pressure. So I can do it this way, a little cradle hold, or I can also support the arm from underneath this way and make the technique more active where she has to hold the weight of the arm. Or one position I really like a lot is to grab the wrist, just like this, place this against my body, get a little bit lower. Now watch this here, I'm just gonna stand up. And as I stand up, I get the protraction that I need. Now I'm being a little excessive now, just so you can see it. But as I stand up, that's what produces that protraction. And I can then modulate the pressure of the technique, not by pushing harder, but by just standing up a little bit. And that's how I actually bring the scapula up into my hand. 
Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and head over to physiosecrets.com if you want to learn more about how to treat the shoulder, which is a complicated joint, then make sure to grab a hold of the Shoulder Training Masterclass, which goes deep into the strategies and techniques that I use to treat the shoulder. We'll see you guys next time.